What's up, y'all? So a few days ago, I found a restaurant that sells something called the Diet Burger, and I was intrigued, and I had to try it out, so I got it right here. You can see it's written right there. I didn't write that, so uh, that's classic. And you can see a question mark there. I had to snag it because I've never seen any kind of burger like this before, and I've never heard of any kind of burger like this before either. There's a little bit of irony going on here and you'll see why, but uh, I got a, the diet burger here and I got some french fries. I got a Coke too, but that didn't show up. But I paid 21 bucks, <clears throat> 21. Let's just open this up and see what we're working with here. Wow, oh my God. This is actually crazier than I thought it would be. Would you just look at that, man? Sheesh. Yo, look at all the juice on the bottom of that wrapper. That is ins absolutely insane. Classic little flag on the top. Let me show you what this burger is all about, though. So, first of all, the bun. There's like yellow powdery stuff on. I have no idea what that is. It didn't say on the on the menu there. Underneath, we have a fried egg and a big old onion ring, which, yep see the onion ring right there we got the first patty burger patty with some cheese underneath that we have some kind of pork steak i don't know exactly what kind of pork steak this thing is hot by the way but there's a pork steak just right in between the second patty and the first patty and there's a bottom bun down there too somewhere i'm scared to eat this man it said there's barbecue sauce on here which i guess is on the top right here and it also comes with the classic grease moat around the that didn't expect that. I don't really know what to do. I think I'm just gonna try to keep it on this wrapper for now just to minimize the cleanup effort here after I'm done eating, but yeah. I also got the fries. Maybe I can just soak up some of that grease with the fries. Should I cut it in half, man? Nah, let me just try to go in for a bite. Bottom bun, very soggy. Just look at that pork, pork steak just flopping around. Going in. Look at that cross section, man. I'll tell you what, man. That is one of the most monstrous burgers I've ever eaten. This seems something straight out of like a roadhouse, you know what I'm saying? Like not in Korea, I'm talking about somewhere in America, maybe Moonshine's Roadhouse or something. I got a better bite than I thought I would get there. And I'll tell you, this is a glorious burger right here. I hope it eats cleanly all the way through, but that's what I call layers of flavor. So it's another bite. I feel like I'm at the roadhouse. I'm getting barbecue pork flavors. I'm getting those burger flavors, obviously. The, the onion ring, the barbecue sauce on there. This is really like a new experience for me, I can't lie. That pork steak is thick. Jeez, man. Very messy. But let me tell you, very good. That pork steak is so smoky too. You can really taste the smoke. I believe it is smoked, like in a, in a smoker. Low and slow, you know, good fries. Can't complain, I cannot complain. Now, a little bit ironic here. This is obviously not a diet burger in any way, shape or form. Probably one of the more unhealthy burgers I've ever eaten in my life. Oh man, I'm getting taken to new dimensions, man. Only complaint, put a put a heftier bun on it. I know that would make it taller, but it's going to soak up so much of this juice anyway. Mmm. Bro. 
I cannot tell a lie though. That is way better than I expected it would be. Way tastier than I thought it would be. And when I saw this, this just pond of whatever this is down at the bottom here, I got real scared, but it's actually eating cleaner than I thought it would be. Everything's not dropping around on the back here. No. Earlier I mentioned that I've never really seen anything like this before, or I've never heard of anything like this before. Something called a diet burger. But this one is clearly over the top, and as you can see, with the question mark they put after the diet, it's meant to be ironic. It's meant to be a little bit sarcastic in a way. Um, which, this is the first time in Korea I've ever seen any kind of like irony or sarcasm used in a food menu item, or really ever. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. Sarcasm does exist in Korea, but it definitely doesn't work quite the same way as it does in America or maybe across the pond. Uh, one thing that I've had talks with with many non-Korean people who are living in Korea, they all, we all agree on kind of the same thing. It's like, yeah, sarcasm, it, it just, it hits different over here. And you'll get a lot of stale stone faces if you, if you bust it out in the wrong way. Whether you try to directly translate some English or whatever into uh, Korean, or if you just say it in English to someone who's Korean who understands English, I feel like a lot of the time sarcasm will just fall flat and it might even like confuse or even anger some people. So I found that very interesting that they're using kind of this ironic name for this burger. Kind of a family story that I heard a lot as a kid. Not really a story, but I had a great grandma at one point and my dad would always say that she, you know, at dinner when they would eat together occasionally, uh, she would clean her whole plate, squeaky clean, and then say, ah, I didn't like it. Something like that. I can't remember the exact verbiage, but something along those lines. And obviously she liked it, but she was just saying that for fun, I guess. Classic, uh, classic thing to say. There's one time, I think it was probably Ring Lady who like made me dinner at one point. And I had told her about how my gran great grandma does this. And I decided to kind of do the same thing and see how she would react. So I cleaned my whole plate. And it was obviously eating just, mmm, so good. Like, it was good. It was obviously delicious. And then after I'm done, squeaky clean plate, I'm like, ah, didn't like it. And she got angry. Like, we, I think it caused like a little fight, at, 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 real talk. And I was like, yo, I just explained where this came from like 15 minutes ago. And I'm just doing it. Obviously, I ate deliciously, but th that's the joke. And she was like, did not get it. Be careful. Gotta be careful. Speaking of my great grandma though, I got a little real quick story randomly while I finish this off. This is actually kind of a story. One of my earliest memories, um, and if my mom, well, she's always watching my videos, she knows exactly where this is going. Uh, one of my earliest memories, probably about four years old or something, we go over to her house and we're all, I don't know why, but we're all in her bedroom, just like hanging out, talking, and my parents are talking to her, and me and my brother are just messing around. He's one year younger, so I'm, He's like probably three, I'm four or four and five, whatever. So at one point I'm just like chilling, looking around for a minute or so. And then all of a sudden I hear freeze from like right behind me, point blank, turn around. Brother got a pistol pointed like right, is either my, my head or my, just my, <laughs> a kill zone for sure. And I'm like, oh snap. And I'm like, ha ha, good one. Where'd you get that? What is that? I, I, I was kind of stunned. I was like, oh, what, what's going on? Like that looks pretty freaking real. I don't see no orange tip on that. And then my parents see it and they start freaking out. Like, oh, no, 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 no. 
and uh, grab it from him and put it away. Apparently, she had she keeps a loaded pistol in her nightstand, or she did, and you know he found it somehow. He's stupid through those drawers, I guess. And he thought it was a toy. He didn't know what he was doing. I mean, he was three or four. And he said, I don't know if it was on safety. No one confirmed or denied that. I'm not sure if my parents, maybe they blocked it out of their memory. But he told me later on, like 10, 15 years later, he was like, I was trying to pull that trigger, man. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. I would have been dead. For sure. No chance. That was point blank. Anyway, that memory is burned into my brain. You know, I think a lot of, there's a lot of accidental stuff that can happen with that. And so I guess I just kind of got kind of lucky that day. I don't know what happened. But anyway, let's get back to this. Let me just finish this off by saying I don't know if you can hear that, but this onion ring is still crispy. Kia Shine. And dare I say, critical, crucial component to this burger, which was very kind of a little bit drippy, saucy. So you needed that crispiness to just kind of give it an extra dimension of texture and then flavor. I could taste every single ingredient in that. That was fire. I can't lie. That was a lot better than I was expecting. Honestly, I probably, if this had a different name, just like, I don't know, Tower Burger or something, I would never have, or Pork Steak Burger. It would never caught my eye. So good job on the naming there and good job on the burger. I can't lie. But b bad job on not giving me my drink. Come on, man. Anyway, I'm about to skate out of here. Thank you for watching this one, and I'll catch you in this video. Peace!